Hey dreamers, welcome to today's STEAM work, Community Connection. Don't worry, be happy. I'm Dominique from National Children's Museum. Today, we will be exploring honey beehives and create our own honey beehive cell. I'm wondering, has anyone ever seen a beehive? If you have, what did it look like? If you haven't, here are some pictures of some beehives. Maybe you've seen one that looks like this. Or maybe this one. And I think most people are familiar with this last one. What about the inside of a beehive? Here are some pictures of what the inside looks like. It's a lot going on. See all the bees in the intricate honeycomb? I want us to take a look, a close look, at the honeycomb cells. What do you notice about the cells? Are they empty? Do they have anything in them? So bees put nectar that turns into honey. They also keep their larvae or babies in those. And they put pollen for their food in the honeycombs and eat cell. Let's take a close look at the shape of a honeycomb. What do you notice? What shape is this? Let's count the size to figure out what shape this is. One, two, three, four, five, six. What shape has six sides? A hexagon, you're right. All honeybees make the hexagon shape in their hives using wax that comes from their bodies. Within a beehive, there is one queen. Her job is to lay eggs and leave the hive. There are worker bees that are all female. They are responsible for collecting food, watching over the baby bees, and protecting the hive. Last, we have drone bees. They are the only males in the hive. Their only job is to mate with the queen to make new eggs. Just like in a beehive, we all have special roles, talents, interests, and strengths that we contribute to our families and our communities. Which brings us to our activity for the day, creating a beehive cell. If you had a cell in a beehive, what would yours look like? For this activity, you will decorate a hexagon with a scene from nature, a drawing of your favorite pollinator, a positive message, or anything special to represent you. The materials you will need to create this project are paper, such as construction paper, cardstock, copy paper, or whatever you have on hand, paint, crayons, colored pencils, markers, or any art supply of your choice, and glue, scissors, ruler, and a pencil. These are just suggested materials. Feel free to be as creative and as adventurous as you would like. The first step is to draw our hexagon. I'm gonna make each side of the hexagon three inches in length. The next step is to cut out the hexagon. Now it's time to decorate. I'm going to create a positive message on my honeycomb because I think we can all use some positivity. I also have this pretty pattern paper. I'm going to draw or color some of the flowers and cut it out. that have some bees on it. And there you go. My positive beehive cell. It says, don't worry, be happy. Some of my friends from National Children's Museum have also decided to create beehive cells of their own. When we put them all together, we have such a beautiful and unique hive. You can invite your friends and family to do the same and create your own unique hive. We want to see the magic that you created, so be sure to tag us in your post using National Children's Museum so you might be featured across our social. Thank you for watching and join us tomorrow for another Steamwork. Bye.